For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Stocks kicked off the day with plenty of enthusiasm following a huge earnings beat from Alphabet. But the optimism didn't last. As the day progressed, investor confidence waned and stocks drifted into the red. Traders now have their eyes on upcoming announcements from Microsoft and Meta platforms, hoping for more positive news to lift the market. Meanwhile, gold is hitting record highs almost daily, which makes the S&P 500 seem comparatively dull. With the US election just around the corner, a sense of unease has brought new attention to gold, making it the top pick for those seeking a safer investment. In an unlikely twist, Reddit has positioned itself as a profitable and influential platform, bringing everything from memes to market-shaking discussions under one roof. Known as a place where users can get advice on almost anything, Reddit has now officially turned a profit for the first time ever. After reporting an impressive third quarter, the company's stock shot up by 42% today. Even more incredible, Reddit's stock has almost tripled in value since its initial public offering back in March, showcasing its growing appeal to investors. Reddit's financial report showed some big wins, highlighting a net profit of $29.9 million compared to a $7.4 million loss in the same quarter last year. The company brought in $348.4 million in revenue, marking a whopping 68% increase year over year and beating the $312 million that analysts were expecting. Reddit's forecast for the next quarter is also upbeat, with the company projecting revenue between $385 and $400 million, well above the anticipated $350 $7.9 million. Reddit's influence online keeps expanding, with Chief Executive Officer Stephen Huffman sharing in a letter to shareholders that recent updates to Google's search engine have boosted the visibility of Reddit posts, making them more prominent in search results. This update has driven up Reddit's casual user count by 70% year over year, while registered users grew 27% to reach a total of 44 million. To help maintain this momentum, Reddit plans to make account creation even easier, with the aim of turning more of these casual users into dedicated community members. Reddit's growth hasn't been limited to the US internationally, an AI-powered translation tool now supports multiple languages, including Spanish, Portuguese, Italian, German, and French. This new feature is designed to attract global users, and it seems to be working. Unlike the meme stocks hyped up on sub-forums like Wall Street Bets, Reddit is looking like a solid investment, with more Wall Street analysts giving it a buy rating than any other designation. Moving on to other stocks, Snap had a great day, climbing over 15% after beating both revenue and earnings expectations and announcing a new share buyback program. Avvi, despite a large drop in sales for its best-selling drug Humira, saw its shares rise over 6% thanks to strong demand for Skyreezy, its new top product. Shake Shack's stock also hit a new 52-week high, rising almost 8% after a standout quarter that featured lower costs and higher sales. Garmin had a record day, with its stock reaching an all-time high, driven by a strong quarterly report and optimistic guidance for the upcoming year. Dropbox saw a small increase of about 1.36% after announcing a 20% workforce reduction aimed at boosting profitability. Brinker International, which owns Chili's, also performed well, with its stock jumping more than 7% after a surprisingly good quarter. Brinker's performance serves as a reminder of the resilience of the casual dining sector, which has maintained a strong consumer base despite the broader economic challenges. Not every stock was a winner today, though. Trump Media and Technology Group dropped over 22% as the meme stock experienced increased volatility ahead of the presidential election. Super Microcomputer saw an even sharper decline, down almost 33% after its accountant resigned following an audit of the tech company's recent fiscal year, sending up a big red flag for investors. Pharmaceutical giant Eli Lilly also faced a tough day, falling over 6% due to disappointing sales of its weight loss drugs. Manufacturing giant Caterpillar also had a rough quarter, missing on both sales and earnings, with its stock slipping over 2% as concerns over the challenges in the manufacturing industry mount. Despite these individual losses, the broader market has seen some solid gains in recent months. Major indexes are hitting new highs regularly, and assets like Bitcoin have recovered significantly from their 2022 lows. Gold, often seen as a safe but relatively slow-moving investment, has had an unusually strong year. However, not everything that's rising
rising is necessarily positive. National debt continues to increase, and this growing burden is expected to pose serious problems in the near future. Millions of Americans remain locked out of the housing market, with home prices still sky high, putting home ownership out of reach for many. Alphabet, the parent company of Google, capped off a successful quarter with a stock increase of nearly 3% after beating both revenue and earnings expectations. The company reported earnings per share of $2.12, higher than the $1.85 analysts expected. Alphabet brought in $88.27 billion in revenue, a 15% year-over-year increase that surpassed the forecasted $86.3 billion. The company's cloud computing division performed especially well, growing by 35% compared to the same period last year. Executives credited Alphabet's artificial intelligence offerings for much of this growth, which continued to drive the company's expansion. AMD, on the other hand, didn't fare as well, with its stock falling over 10% after the company issued a fourth quarter revenue forecast that came in below expectations. The chipmaker expects revenue to be around $7.5 billion, slightly below the $7.55 billion that analysts had anticipated. However, AMD's data center revenue, which is closely tied to the booming AI industry, grew by an impressive 122% over the last year. Chipotle also had a challenging day, with its stock dropping nearly 8% after a mixed earnings report. Although the restaurant chain met earnings per share expectations, its revenue of $2.79 billion came in just under the expected $2.82 billion. Rising food and beverage costs have been a hurdle for Chipotle, with some of the pressure stemming from recent social media attention to portion sizes. To sum it all up, today was a mixed day in the stock market. Companies like Snap, Shake Shack, and Garmin posted strong gains thanks to solid earnings reports, while others like Trump Media, Super Microcomputer, and Chipotle faced challenges that weighed on their stock prices. Reddit's incredible third quarter performance highlighted the company's growth potential Potential, particularly in the rapidly evolving social media space. Additionally, artificial intelligence and cloud computing remain crucial sectors, with major players like Alphabet and AMD demonstrating just how significant these areas are for future growth. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.